okay now guys there is a table and out of this table 100 percent question will be coming off and let's discuss this table very fast that which all organism and what are the important features regarding them you know the pneumococcus that is a streptococcus pneumonia fine so streptococcus pneumonia is pneumococcus okay streptococcus eglectia that is there meningo and hemophilus influenza these are important ones which cause meningitis obviously number one is pneumo here in fact you remember like this in all the age groups the most common cause is this particular pneumo except in the neonates in which the gbs plays a role fine so streptococcus pneumoniae that is a pyogenic meningitis the csf pressure is highly elevated how much more than 180 mm of water water okay total leukocyte count it is also elevated and it can be between 100 to 10000 per mm cube second point glucose glucose is decreased to absent in the case of uh, pyogenic meningitis or bacterial meningitis and how much it is less than 40 less than 40 okay and total proteins is more than 45 mg per dl so this is to be remembered glucose is less than 40 protein is elevated more than 45 mg per dl so p protein pentalis in hindi you call it pentalis so that is more than 45 and glucose is less than 40 because they are consuming up they love uh, glucose so they will decrease that and it can be very much increased to 250 levels also 250 mg per dl also can happen up in the case of pyogenic meningitis okay and as per the like uh, their uh, these particular cultural characteristics or some other uh, gram staining stuff is concerned so you know that uh, regarding the streptococcus pneumonia that uh, it is a gram positive cocci in pairs it's a diplococci what is the shape lanceolate shape okay and if we talk about the cultural identification of pneumo then in that it is alpha hemolytic draughtsman type of colonies that is carom coin and bio is positive and what is bio bile soluble inulin fermenter optogen sensitive okay so this is regarding the pneumo otherwise uh, if they want to take the question regarding the gbs then they can put up this particular thing that it is beta hemolytic okay cam test positive what is camp christy atkins munch peterson it is resistant to the bacitracin this particular antibiotic it is resistant so this is we are talking about whom we are talking about the gbs now oxidase positive grows on chocolate agar and i can add one thing to that that this is catalase positive also and this particular one grows up on the thea martin media and thea martin is nothing but only chocolate agar so this is the twist regarding the meningo which you can remember of so oxidase positivity is regarding the meningo also and it is regarding the hemophilus influenzae also hemophilus influenzae is also oxidase positive remember this also okay and regarding the hemophilus influenzae the most important word to be focused is pleomorphic they change shape okay it's a pleomorphic gram negative bacillus or you can say coco bacillus and this particular entity that is termed as satellitism that is being observed on the blood agar by this particular hemophilus influenzae okay which needs a factor which one x and v this is not 10 and 5 this is x and v hemin and nad to grow better okay regarding the other ones uh, you can take uh, like a general term for them you can grow them on mekonki agar or blood agar and as per the biochemical reactions you can sort it out okay so this is regarding the pyogenic meningitis which i want to tell you now coming to the like uh, fungal one and the viral one that is the cryptococcus neoformans in viral meningitis so cryptococcal neoformans you can see that the csf pressure is slightly elevated or normal so it happens in both viral as well as crypto that the csf pressure is not very highly elevated it's slightly elevated the leukocyte count is slightly elevated and it is lymphocytic it is lymphocytic mainly in both of them the glucose is normal they don't love glucose total proteins normal or slightly elevated so basically all the things remain normal itself in the fungal and the viral only thing to be remembered here is csf pressure is slightly elevated it can be normal so most of the things are normal in the case of fungal and the viral meningitis okay now regarding the indian ink stain regarding the indian ink stain you know everybody knows in fact indian ink staining is done for cryptococcus neoformans capsule okay that you can observe under microscope then latex agglutination test is available for detecting the capsular antigen in the csf and this was the question both options were there which one is preferred obviously this one is preferred for the cryptococcal meningitis latex card a glutination test and you can grow it on the blood agar this the fungus can also be grown on the blood agar chocolate agar and obviously the universal fungal media is what sda sebrodextrose agar which shows what mucoid white colonies fine 
So regarding uh, the Candida also the same thing and regarding the Crypto also same thing that they can have the mucoid white colonies. Okay. Now regarding the viral meningitis, the same things regarding the like levels of uh, glucose and all that stuff. And uh, nowadays, what is the best to go? That is the real time PCR is the best to go that within a framework, you get the diagnosis and uh, this you can very well uh, associate with the COVID that what is the investigation of choice there that is the RT-PCR. Okay. Now talking about the another important one that is the tubercular meningitis, which goes uh, slightly different from the pyogenic ones. The CSA pressure here it is moderately elevated. There is a type of a cobweb coagulum that is observed in this particular one cobweb coagulum. Okay. Leukocyte count is elevated and here it is also lymphocytic mainly. Glucose is slightly decreased. Okay. Means tubercular bacilli utne bhukkad nahi hote jitne baaki ke bacteria hote hain. So slightly decreased. Total proteins is moderate to markedly increased. So that, that particular thing raises off. And if you remember, we have remembered like this, the glucose less than 40. In the case of pyogenic one, it will not be so less in this particular one, but it can come to that level also. Total proteins more than 45 in the case of this pyogenic meningitis. So near about that, these particular ones will also stay. But this is a special feature of this cobweb coagulum in the case of tubercular meningitis. Okay. Now you go for Zedin stain, the zine linser stain of CSF showing up acid fast bacilli, or you can go for the PCR here also. Okay. And as per the growth characteristics, you can see that you can grow them over which particular media, LG media, in how much time the colonies they come, 6 to 8 weeks, which type of colonies, rough, tough and buff. Other than that, you have a more sophisticated way nowadays, MGIT. And what is MGIT? Mycobacterial growth indicator tube, this particular method. So this table will solve all your questions regarding the meningitis stuff. If you just observe this table, your questions are done regarding the meningitis. That in which what is elevated, what is down, nobody will ask you the exact like this particular point that how much is raised more than 45 less than 40. No, they just want to have an idea from you that this fellow knows this thing that in the viral and the fungal one, the glucose is not used. Okay, so they want to know that particular thing. They don't want to have the numerical values from it. Okay, I hope uh, this is clear now.